were at Sea Future 2025 in La Spezia, Italy, and we are now meeting with the commanding officer of Italian Navy submarine Romei. It is a Type 212 Alpha Batch 2 submarine of the Marina Militare, and we are meeting the commanding officer, Commander Morki. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Commander. Can you please first uh, introduce your uh, submarine to us? ITS Romei was uh, given to Italian Navy in 2017, so it's the newest one in service at the moment. It completed uh, right now uh, the first step of maintenance, so it, at now we are facing a training phase right after, right before going to Taranto in, uh, in the end of the year. So. Uh, the second batch uh, submarine is uh, quite different from the first one uh, in order because of uh, the system and the combat system is quite different so we have an optronic mast uh, for the second periscope and uh, of course we embark the bsa so the new torpedo all right uh, what are your typical uh, missions that you conduct so our missions are uh, surveillance and uh, our advantages is uh, to uh, control uh, the seabed and to uh, watch without uh, having been watched. So this is a very advantage, uh, high advantage of uh, the submarine, of course. Is your base uh, here in La Spezia? No, in... our base is in Taranto. La Spezia is mainly a base for maintenance, while we have a second base in Sicily, in Augusta. And it's a very important base, Augusta, because of uh, the vicinity to the channel, uh, Sicily Channel, of course. And so we are very close to the Sicily Channel and we are able to perform our patrolling here inside. Can you share with us some of the main characteristics? So ITS Romei is a new 212 and he has a fuel cell propulsion. So it's an energy independent propulsion that is very useful in order to be quite silent and to leave the periscope depth longer than a conventional submarine. As a submariner, well, the Italian Navy is uh, modernizing its fleet. Uh, in the future, there will be uh, 212 NFS. Yes. These submarines, uh, the first batch and probably the second batch, will be modernized as well. Do you look forward to these uh, new yes. upgrades? Yes, so the NFS is uh, quite a reality at the moment. So they are building in Fincantieri the newest one, and uh, they will be in service at the end of uh, 2020 years. So, I mean, in uh, 2028 almost. And uh, of course, uh, ITS Romei will be uh, upgraded, I think, in the end of uh, 2020s. And uh, at the moment, however, the, the newest uh, features of NFS will be lithium, will be a new combat system, a new periscope, of course, and uh, more Italian components. I mean, uh, the combat system will be Italian, of course, and uh, everything will be fitted for uh, the necessity of uh, the submariners. So there's a team of submariners which is involved in the uh, preparation of the new combat system. Okay. Well, since the submarine is uh, right there, well, may we uh, step inside to close, uh, take a closer yes. look at its Yes, it would be a pleasure for me. Welcome aboard, I'm Lieutenant Mariani, the EXO of uh, ITS Romei the Italian submarine U-212A uh, second batch class. We are in the torpedo room, so we can embark uh, torpedoes from uh, outside uh, thanks to the swiveling deck, which allow us to take on board uh, these uh, container, these uh, white containers that uh, are um, moved inside uh, this room when uh, we detach all these uh, arrangement like a revolver in a, in a pistol, in a gun, so that we can uh, move and rotate uh, these containers and uh, align it uh, to the tube. We have on board the six tubes. As you can see, the, we have uh, heavy torpedoes, 533 millimeters. We can embark uh, 12 of it. And uh, on board uh, of uh, this uh, class, uh, we have a system of uh, push out. So the torpedoes doesn't turn on inside the tube, but uh, is pushed out 
uh, thanks to a jet stream of water uh, created with the hydraulics. So this, uh, this is at the same time a room uh, where the people live when uh, it's not on duty. Usually the duty and the personnel is organized into teams. So six hours of uh, duty and six hours of rest. And uh, we here can uh, eat uh, and uh, watch a movie or uh, playing cards, uh, reading uh, some books. This is uh, the mess also, you see? And uh, naturally we are Italian, so on board uh, cooking, uh, it's uh, quite important for, uh, for the people. And so we have one or two cooks uh, on board uh, while we are sea. And uh, inside here we can uh, prepare Italian uh, cuisine dishes. The food uh, is stored, uh, the freezing food is stored inside here. While uh, this uh, is where the uh, periscope, the traditional periscopes goes when uh, it's uh, not out of the water. This is uh, the core of the submarine, the combat information center. So when we are uh, at sea, all the crew members uh, are on duty here, apart uh, from one crew member, which is on patrol for uh, technical uh, activities around all the, the other uh, rooms. And uh, this side, uh, we have uh, the console for the platform. So uh, the engineers, uh, electricians, mechanics uh, perform duty here and all is uh, remotely operated so uh, here we can uh, see if a uh, valve is closed or open we can operate it, uh, we can see the level of battery, level of uh, tanks we can um, turn on uh, the diesel engine to charge batteries or uh, turn on the fuel cells, it's all uh, from these uh, computers uh, for sure, some uh, maneuvers are um, also nowadays uh, manual for safety reasons, but uh, mainly everything is operated from here for the platform. This is the chair for the houseman. Usually the houseman uh, is uh, or the boson or uh, an urs, which on board uh, is uh, also the houseman and uh, can be operated uh, in uh, different modes from automatic modes in which uh, is simply put inside the, the course uh, and depth and the submarine goes uh, by his own or uh, he has uh, the joystick or in uh, the most degraded uh, modes uh, he has to um, use directly the hy hydraulic oil to move uh, the rudders. Naturally, we have uh, two types of rudders. The horizontal one, the forward one, are um, on the, the tower sides and uh, allows the submarine to change depth, uh, uh, maintaining pitch. And the uh, X-rudder are for independent rudder uh, at, uh, on the stern, can allow us to change pitch uh, for depth and to change course. This is the nav station. We have a GPS antenna on uh, periscopes and uh, uh, telecommunication antennas, but uh, for sure when we are a deep dive, uh, can integrate the position with the inertial navigation. So we uh, control navigation on uh, war axis, simple uh, electronic charts. We have uh, underwater telephone, uh, log and um, and the possibility to uh, control uh, the bottoms. These four are the uh, 
basic uh, command control system. Uh, this console uh, has uh, four uh, main functions. The one is to show the tactical situation uh, to the principal warfare officer or to the commander. Uh, we can perform TMA because um, differently from uh, Nava ships that, that uh, transmit with radar, we use mainly passive sensor. So determining vector position uh, and uh, course speed of targets, uh, it's uh, uh, an algorithm. Uh, we have to perform maneuvers. To, the operator has to work on it, on uh, these computers. And uh, the other functions are uh, uh, the one uh, to control torpedoes that are wire guided. We on board have uh, BS, B, BSA, Black Shark Advanced Torpedoes from uh, VAS. They can be wire guided with uh, optical fiber for uh, the, uh, a lot of uh, uh, kilometers. And uh, also the speed is uh, it's really high. Uh, so we, uh, we can expel the, the torpedoes from here and uh, guide it uh, against the, the target. Also, the, the torpedoes have a wake sensor to, the, uh, to detect uh, the, the wake of, uh, of the targets. And another feature is uh, the use of, of periscope. We have on board two types of periscope. This one is a traditional one, penetrating one. Inside this tube are mirrors. So the operator can simply um, watch outside uh, directly from the mirrors with the review, or we can uh, split the light and uh, let the operator see through this. But uh, at the same time, it's possible to see outside on the consoles with uh, different cameras. As you can see, this is the view of the cameras inside the periscope. We can also put all the lights to the camera and remotely operate the periscope from here. With the joystick and the periscope rotates. We have different sensors, so in the visible uh, spectrum and the low light TV to enhance the view at night and uh, electronic warfare uh, antennas on the periscope. While the, the other periscope, which uh, is not in the cheek, we, we cannot see it. It's uh, an optronic mast, which it's, uh, is uh, all outside the pressure uh, proof hull. It, uh, it's called OMS 100. And for example, you can see one of the sensor, the IR camera, infrared camera. These one are the sonar consoles. We usually got to see with uh, three or four operators uh, per duty. And uh, it's uh, fundamental for navigation when we are deep dive with a passive arrays. We have uh, arrays in the bow with a cylindrical array, uh, minor wagon sonar, which is active uh, also in the bow, two flank arrays, and uh, tower the ray astern. We can uh, release it uh, with a winch. And uh, we follow navigation, and we can perform a demo analysis to determine, uh, uh, for example, speed of the targets, or a narrow band analysis that can allow us to uh, have a fingerprint of targets and uh, to collect that. So from now on, uh, we are uh, in uh, technical rooms. For example, uh, here in the switchboard room, uh, we have uh, all uh, the ele electric uh, machinery. And uh, we, can, uh, we have inverters or uh, local panels 
to change the electric configuration of the boat. The Romeo Romeo is a diesel electric boat, so we have lead acid batteries that uh, have to be uh, recharged periodically with a turbo diesel engine uh, with alternator. And, uh, but we have uh, an air independent uh, propulsion uh, apparatus, which are the fuel cells, which are here. In this rack, uh, we have uh, nine modules that, uh, in which we combine oxygen and hydrogen that are stored in tanks outside the pressure-proof hull to create energy, to recharge battery or to, uh, uh, to get electricity directly to the systems and the propeller. All these uh, tubes uh, are uh, the inlet uh, of the air from uh, outside with a snorkel system. You can see there how much, how big it's a valve. An important feature aboard uh, the submarines is the presence of the sound absorbing module. It's like a marine container that it's not uh, attached directly to the to the hull in order to doesn't propagate uh, vibration and, uh, and sound outside. Uh, the, all the room is uh, on a shock absorber. And inside here you can see all the machinery. It's quite, it's quite hot. We have the alternator with uh, the diesel engine and all the pumps uh, or compressors for uh, air conditioning uh, or to move uh, seawater outside the boat, inside the boat. The, the compressor for, uh, for the compressed air and uh, hydraulics. Also the firefighting uh, arrangements are uh, automatic. So for example, uh, here we have uh, an automatic uh, system with uh, different sensors. And this is uh, the last room uh, of, uh, of the boat. So this is a five meter uh, more or less uh, diameter uh, uh, electric engine, which gave us uh, propulsion. We have uh, some arrangement uh, for uh, do sports. And at the really end, we have uh, hydraulics uh, for the four rudders and the electronics uh, to release uh, tower the ray. So that's all. Thank you very much. Very nice, thank you.